everyone. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to take you from tired mom to hot date. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, I just thought it would be fun if I shared some tips and tricks for looking great in little time and especially if you've got kids or you're just kind of like, help me. <laughs> We've all been there. I've been there. I know what it's like. So stay tuned and I will give you the full rundown. Okay, Enjoy. so let's get started. Yes, this is like, it's called Hubaloo or something. And I'll see if I can find out where they carry it. The website shut down that I bought it from. But yeah, this is like a t-shirt. It's like I'm wearing a t-shirt on my head. Um, it's what brings out my hair and doesn't snag it and all that good stuff so and it's supposed to speed up drying time we'll see um, I also like those little twisty turbans you can get at Marshall's so before you get into the makeup a few things that you can do to help sort of take your skin from super tired super blah <laughs> to ooh fancy is um Anything like a sheet mask or one of these like eye gel, uh, Miss Spa is great. You can get these at Ulta. Turns crinkles into twinkles. Um, I really do love these little gel patches to wear under the eyes. And then of course, let's, you've got to wear eye cream religiously. You just do. So this is the Boots, um, number seven, dark uh, corrector, dark circle corrector and it's just a good the little metal ball roller thingies on there are great to just kind of get that circulation going and the lymphatic drainage it's also really good have you ever gotten a facial and you know when they apply the treatments on your skin you always just go out of there looking refreshed and amazing amazing and I think it's because of the way they I don't know, you're laying down and they're like, everything's getting all going and juices flowing and then you just go, oh, I look like this. So yeah, eye cream essential. And now what I'm going to do, a lot of the products I'm using are drugstore. There might be one or two, I might have like one MAC thrown in here or one Sephora item throw in here, thrown in here, but I really wanted to just kind of keep you know, it if to the drugstore level. Valentine's Day, it's one of those things where like... From my husband and I, we've always sort of done a little something for each other. Some years have been nicer in terms of like a really expensive gift he's gotten me. Or some years we've had like a weekend away or maybe we've had just like a really nice dinner out. And some years I've been home with this stomach bug or a child has. Um, it's so typical that you're so excited, you've got a sitter, and then one of your kid vomits all over the place. So, trust me, if you seem to not be able to even leave the house this Valentine's Day, I get it. I've been there. Um, <laughs> but if by chance you happen to snag a sitter, all your kids stay well and healthy, and so do you. And you want to just kind of look a little, just better than you do when you're running around in yoga pants and carpool pickups. Here you go. So I am going to, I'm wearing sunscreen. I'm going to take this Sonia Kasha corrector palette and I'm just going to kind of dab it around. I've got some serious, this is not for under eye circles. This is for, um, this is for like this kind of thing right here. <laughs> Yeah, that is what this is. So this is kind of like the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. All right. Oh, you know what I should have done is I should have done my primer first. I am trying CoverGirl today. I am using this True Blend Radi uh, Dry Skin Primer, and then I'm tr also using a CoverGirl Foundation. This is, um, it says New Look. It's the Simply Ageless. Uh, this is the three-in-one with the serum, the Olay serum, and I, I, it says new look, so I think it's an old formula with a new look. I have not, I don't think I've ever tried it before. I am going to use my beauty blender, so I'm thinking that the beauty blender versus the Real Techniques beauty sponge might be better in the long run because I think it absorbs less 
product. Um, I love that Real Technique sponge, but I do think it absorbs a lot of product away from your skin. So let's give this a shot. This is color 220 Creamy Natural. It might be... Sometimes CoverGirl foundations seem to be on the pink side, but let's... It has that kind of nice foundation smell. It's a little bit kind of floral, fresh. Which I don't mind. Oh, I think this has a nice coverage to it. Okay, I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm going to use the pink one in brightener, and then I use the neutralizer as a concealer. Um, I like the neutralizer better than I like the light pale uh, concealer one because it um, it's a little more yellow. I think it has a little more coverage to it. Now I'm going to apply the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer to my lids. I actually kind of like this one. It makes a really tacky, well, I should say it kind of, it's matte, it's mattifying, but I think it kind of also makes it a little bit sticky in a good way. So what I'm going to do to set that is I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Quad in Classic Nude or something else. Okay. Woo! See, I think I look brightened up already. Uh, really no. Well, which one do you think? I think I'm going to take this one first and just put that on. Not carefully, just getting it on there. <laughs> So now I'm gonna, um, I'm picking up my Milani one. This is the must have neutrals, no, must have naturals. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna put my brush in the, in that one, the darker one. Just kind of giving that crease a little lift, little hooded lid lift action, right? I mean, some of you might go, she always does this. I mean, I try to mix it up, but I do sometimes feel like I am always doing this. But this is sort of what works for my eye shape, my lid. Uh, situation. <laughs> I'm going to blend that. Let's do eyebrows. So if you're like me, I mean, I definitely have the time because my kids are in school. But if you have little ones and you don't like to traipse them to the salon, I get it. And I'm terrible with getting my brows done on time. But I still think that defining them and putting some good highlighter is enough to distract. I forgot powder. You guys, I am notorious these days in forgetting powder. I'm going to use my Maybelline Loose Powder. It's already got some kind of in the puff. I'm going to pack this on right here so I don't crease anymore. I am going to crease. And I'm going to put some right here. Keep that from sliding around. And then we're just going to <coughs> I mean, what's the matter with me lately? I'm going to do just a real light sweep to set my concealer. There we go. It's just good to kind of get everything set before the crinkles set in. Okay. 
Back to eyebrows. It's got a good shape going on. This kid's outside. Good enough for now. And we can stop here and just put on mascara for our eyes if we want to. I don't want to. I want to do a few more things. I'm going to take this black powder and I'm going to use the brush that I typically use for like my gel liner, but I'm going to put it in for the, um, the powder. Uh, because sometimes gel feels a lot more intimidating. Have a mirror a little bit lower and then just kind of go along and push that in. So, in the spirit of being a little bit daring, I am going to take this Milani Bella Rouge, which I know you're like, what? And this NYX Girl Talk, I love this color. And I'm just gonna take the Girl Talk on my finger and go as far down as I can along the lid. Love this, oops, I went a little high. Oh well, that's okay. Nothing what wakens up the eyes better than like a light lid, highlight in the corner. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I just feel like doing this maybe because it's Valentine's Day and I'm like, I want some pop of color and let's use red. But I like to just do something kind of fun in the crease. You can do whatever you want. You can do like a purple. You can, if you're wearing a red dress and you don't want to do this because it does look a little bit pink purple, then of course don't. You do what you want to do. I don't know what I'm wearing to be honest with you. Valentine's Day is on a Sunday, so I was kind of thinking like a fun little brunch might be nice. And I say fun because brunch is always fun for me, but like, just like a, you know, just a brunch. Hubs and I can go out, get some Bloody Marys, get some Eggs Benedict. Yeah. All right, I'm going back. I'm taking just a really dense, uh, short little brush. I'm going underneath my lash, lower lash line. Just kind of gonna give an illusion of shadow down there. And then I'm gonna take that Bella Rouge and I am gonna put a little bit of that down there too. But on the end, like on the far corner, not the inner corner. Not where I'm gonna look bloodshot. I have my Super BB Insta Ready powder. I am going to take just any old brush and I am just gonna work this in. I actually think I'm gonna take one of my Wayne Goss brushes, a little softer, more flexible. Um, this is kind of instead of bronzer. This powder is just really pretty, really softens everything. And I am gonna do a little bit of this highlight from this Sonia Kashuk um, dual bronzer. What's this called? Chic Luminosity bronzer highlight. I just feel like this is gonna wake me up. 
Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like you, you. I know, you're welcome. A little wham for ya. I always thought this was cute. This Physician's Formula Mood Boost Blush or whatever it's called. What is it called? I don't know. It smells nice and it's supposed to be like, ooh, sexy. So I'm just going to take a teeny tiny smidgen of this. I actually think I'm just going to use this brush again. And I am just going to go along right here like, like I've got, you know, a nice romantic flush going on. That sounds like a fever. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to do some mascara. And I am using my Marc Jacobs mascara, so, you know. We'll put some more coats of that. Let's do my bottom lashes, and I'm using my MAC, what is this called? Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I always call it just the Giga Black, but apparently that's the color, right? Best mascara for your bottom lashes, hands down. I've tried the Clinique, I've tried the others, I don't know what others, I can't remember, but like anything that's like lower lash mascara, tried it. And I think it's just because my lashes are so puny on the lower lash that this is like the perfect. It's not just the perfect size. It's something about the spoolie. So lips, of course, red lips, but with pink eyes, I'm thinking a nude. pink eyes. That sounds really great, doesn't it? So I have here Rimmel Pink Blush. Which is really pink. <laughs> okay, so I don't like this, but that's okay, because now I'm going to put on Best of the Best from Rimmel over it. Nothing brightens your face like a blue red lipstick. Okay, I am going to do my hair and get dressed and I'll be right back. And voila, I'm back. Okay, so I, of course, I dried my hair and I'm gonna tell you a little more about that in just a second. Um, this necklace is from TJ Maxx. These actually are Kate Spade. They, um, my daughter bought me these with her own money that she earned babysitting um, for Christmas, so. Anyway, so they're special to me. Um, sometimes on Valentine's Day, I like to wear a piece of jewelry that my husband gave me, you know, whatever, if you've got one. Um, but yeah, and I'm wearing black, I'm not wearing red. So don't feel like you have to wear red. Um, amethyst is the stone of February, so purple is such a good color too. And it also looks really good with green eyes and it would pop your plum reddish shadow that we've done here so yeah I just I feel like I feel more vibrant and awake and I feel like I want to have fun and just whether it's brunch coffee a quick dinner out if I'm with my husband with my even if I'm home with my kids I don't know I feel good so if you don't like oh yeah my hair so what I did with my hair is I used, I love, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I'm just throwing out you the products I use. This is the L'Oreal Blow, Blow Dry It Quick Dry Primer Spray. And I have just, I feel like this really does cut the dry time. I feel like it gives a nice slip to the hair. It gives a nice shine and it makes it manageable. And so you can just kind of blow it dry and yeah. Um, I have not been in yet for my roots. So I used my EverPro Gray Away Root Touch Up because I love this stuff and yep, I just did that right there. 
I didn't do it right there. <laughs> Don't look there. Another little tool Another little handy dandy tool that I love, and I just don't think it gets enough attention, but this John Frieda, I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's like a heat curl brush. Um, it doesn't spin. It just, you know, it has the settings for, it actually has cool, hot, and warm, and I do high, of course. Um, I have my hair probably about 85% dry, like almost all dry, but it's kind of poofy, right? And you get really tired when you're holding your brush and your, your hair dryer and you're trying to give yourself, you know, like a salon blowout. What I do is I just, um, because it's blowing air out of this, I'm like this. This is what I'm doing. Do, do, do. And it's less exhausting. It smooths the hair. You just, I just do it piece by piece. And then I kind of like to kind of, you know trying to mold my hair, I guess. But I just feel like this is, if I don't want to give as much attention to an actual curling iron um, or a straightening iron, but I need to get my hair dry faster and I want it smooth, this is, and I've used it with long hair and short hair, and I really love it, and I'm sorry it's kind of dirty because it's full of my hair. Um, but anyway, so if Valentine's Day is not your thing, but this was just a fun tutorial for you to see, or you're just a tired woman who wants to get a fresh face, <laughs> then I get it. And um, if you are, you've got some super hot Valentine's Day plans going on, I hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them for me down below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.